You gotta keep the money moving, because if it sits still, it costs money. To prove anything, to get 300 plus thousand dollar loan, it was a piece of cake. Look through the eyes of a real real estate investor as we look over the real deals, the real numbers, the real flips in making money in real estate. Thank you, Andrea. For the proud new owners of the property. This is not a home improvement show. This is a financial improvement show. And you're gonna learn how to really flip with Really Flip. This is it. This is the final product, the parsonage, just outside of downtown Wilmington, North Carolina. The restoration is complete. The house is sold. We're on our way to the closing for the buyers and we'd love to give a quick walkthrough and show you everything we've done to the house to transform it. Now, when we bought the house, one of the things that attracted me to it is the fact that the cedar clapboard had never been painted. And yeah, one thought that came to mind was go ahead and paint it and brighten it up. But then I got thinking, you know, nobody's got that. Like it's a really unique feature that it's clear cedar clapboard. But we were always gonna paint the trim. So painting the trim on the house just gave it a contrast. Now that trim had not been painted prior to us getting here, so like all blended together. Now that the trim is painted, it pops. Like the house just explodes with contrast and uh, you know, put an American flag on the front as a splash of color and some landscaping. The place looks fantastic. The Connected Investors app connects you with investors, notifies you of available properties, helps locate cash buyers, and secure private funding to close deals. Download Connected Investors today to find, figure, fund, and flip investment properties on the go. When we bought this house, this hallway did not exist. However, I knew that any buyer would want a back door to a back deck. So we actually consumed a bedroom or some of a bedroom with this wall here, added the back door out to the back deck. Now you can have your grill out there, grill steaks, drink beer and enjoy your backyard. So when we bought the house, this was the master bedroom. It's no longer the master bedroom. It had a bathroom, a teeny tiny, like barely functional size bathroom just off of it. Um, we moved the master suite, consumed some of this room with the wall for the hallway, and then we opened up, we deleted what was the bathroom, that became kitchen. So we opened up the kitchen consuming what was the original master bathroom space. All right, the kitchen, which of course is one of the most important components of any rehab, certainly for the, the wives of the buying couple, we opened this up. This uh, used to be part of the master bathroom, so we consumed that with kitchen. Now the fridge is gonna go there. Now we've got a pantry closet here and a broom closet around the other side. This was the master bathroom prior, so now it's part of the kitchen. Uh, we put in new cabinetry, black walnut butcher block countertops. We did a tile floor, of course painted everything, smooth finish ceilings, crown molding, and now it's like, hello, hello, big kitchen. People love it, plenty of room for tables and dining and entertaining is fabulous. This is one of our favorite features of the parsonage, and it's our spiral stairway. Uh, when we bought the house, there was like this behemoth stairway that just didn't belong. Um, and it consumed so much of the footprint of the house. So we installed the spiral stairway. The room was already vaulted. Now we sheetrocked over all the popcorn ceilings so we got smooth finished ceilings. When we bought the house, there were a couple built-ins on either side of the fireplace. They were really flimsy. Like we actually took them out to relocate them and they just about fell apart. So those are going to the landfill. Um, but uh, we've largely left this uh, fireplace and chimney intact. We've just painted everything, cleaned it all up. All right, this is a really unique feature of the parsonage here. It's the upstairs bedroom. We've actually got like a balcony loft. When we bought the house, you know, the guy, the previous owner was a hunter. All his deer heads were hanging on that wall. Um, we laid carpeting and painted everything up here, installed new HVAC so it's nice and cool up here. And we have got a bedroom up here, which is it's just a fantastic little, you know, private space up here. You know, headroom's slightly limited on either side, but, you know, it's heated and cooled. We put in new carpet, we painted, smooth finished ceiling. You got access to the eaves to service any of the infrastructure for the house. And it's just a really cool, awesome bonus bedroom for the house, fourth bedroom. When we bought the house, the hall bath went all the way to the outside of the house, and the master had a teeny weeny little bathroom 
on the other end of the house. So what we did was we actually cut this bathroom in half on the other side of me that you can't see is now the master bath for the master bedroom, but uh, left plenty of room for the hall bath. We did custom wainscoting using the wood that we found in the attic. When we bought the house, the attic had like slats of wood laying down for storage. We pulled it all out, refinished it, left the nice patina, and we made wainscoting out of it. Again, black walnut butcher block countertop for our vanity, all new paint, smooth, smooth finish ceiling, and crown molding in every room. It's just absolutely fantastic. This middle guest bedroom is one of the few rooms that actually uh, did not change all that much in the restoration of this home. Um, we didn't change much of the size of it. Uh, we did bump out the closet a little bit, but uh, this one, other than refinishing the floors, painting, smooth finish ceiling, and crown molding, uh, remained largely intact. And now enter what was a guest bedroom. It is now the master suite, master bedroom with ensuite bath. Uh, we built in a closet over here to accommodate, you know, people like big closets, so we built a nice big closet in here. This window was not here, um, but it, it, it wasn't installed, I should say. It was here, we installed it, lets in tons of natural light, so the room is just bathed in light, refinished the floors, and then we added a beautiful, uh, or we relocated uh, the master bath to its new location. It's absolutely fabulous over here. And similarly, we used more of the wood out of the attic and some other uh, custom wood we had in, in stock for custom wainscoting. We did the glass block windows for natural light in the bathroom. Again, our black walnut uh, butcher block and tile floor, a tub shower, fiberglass insert tub shower. It's just, it, it's anything anybody certainly in this price range would want for a master suite. In a lot of these older homes, when we buy them and they're of course in like tremendous disrepair, there's often carpet covering original wood floors. I guess, you know, in the 70s carpet was the thing, you know, so people put carpet in and covered up the beautiful original wood floors. Steve did a great job fixing up this house. Let's talk about the profits. I wanted to be selling this at least three months prior to now, if not four, okay? I and mean, when we bought the house at the end of August last year, and what happened immediately was right after we bought it, we had several other projects that became massive priorities. So right away, I was not able to put the resources on the house that I thought I would when I bought it. So, you know, we came out of the gate basically behind schedule because we didn't even start working on it for a couple months. Now, that said, the other projects were all wildly successful, so it just, something had to give. So it was this, right? It's always, gratifying seeing the place turn into a masterpiece like this. However, financially, if I had wholesaled it, I probably would have made just as much money and I would have turned it quickly. Well, I'm thrilled with how the house turned out. Now that said, this is how I pictured it the day I bought it. Like I'm, I had this vision in mind of this end result, this palace of a home when we were done. The buyers are absolutely tripping over themselves, delighted this kind of the right way the wrong way my way uh, my way has been working really well for me and in, in my business and I think some of the what our audience who's been following this project has seen it's been a bit of a roller coaster uh, we've had ups downs good news bad news this is how you really flip a house now that the property's finished I'm ready to see it for myself Let's meet back up with Steve before he hands over the keys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Great job lighting up the room with the free window you found here. This is uh, this would be a great measure. Made a world of difference. Yeah, and now it's nice and bright in here. Today's the day that every real estate investor loves, closing day. Let's follow Steve as he drops off the keys and closes on this deal. You've now seen Steve's full story, and it's time for you to create your own story in flipping real estate. I want you to go ahead and sign up to the webinar, because there's a lot of things that Steve and I couldn't show you during these short episodes. For instance, you have to know how to find properties. We're going to show you proven strategies on how to find profitable investment properties like this in your local area. After you find the property, you have to know how to figure out all the numbers, because if you mess up there, you could lose a lot of money. We're going to give you software, formulas, everything you need to figure out properties. In addition, you have to be able to fund properties. Steve's given you some fantastic insights on how he funds properties, but there's a lot of other ways to fund properties as well. We're going to give you software and an action plan on how to fund any investment property. Then you're faced with a decision. Do you want to quick flip the property to make five, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars? Two investors like Steve, you buy a lot of properties from wholesalers, don't you? Routinely. Yeah. Absolutely. Or if you have the skill set or drive to hire contractors and swing a hammer, we're going to give you all of the insider tips and tricks that you need to profitably fix properties and then ultimately flip them because that's what it's about. Really flipping properties. So go ahead and sign up for the webinar right now, and Steve and I look forward to speaking with you.